Hi guys, I'm Craig from Miniature Heroes and today I'm super stoked to be painting a Necron using this starter kit. I'll be painting the entire Necron using a few of the silly little paints that come within this kit and I will be doing it all with the starter brush as well. To paint the Necron I'll be using Rouland Brass, Ringfang Steel, Abaddon Black, Tesseract Glow, Corex White, Agrax Earth Shade, and we'll be using some of the Astro Granite for the base. So to start with, I'll be using the Rulon Brush. Just give it a good shake, so that when you open it, it's just one solid colour. So I'll be taking four drops of the Rulon Brush. And now I will take two parts water just to give me the right thickness that I like to paint with. And then I'll be painting from the top down, avoiding the gun area. It doesn't matter if you get a little bit on it, but I'm mainly painting all of the Necron body from top to toe and um, just working in all the nooks and crannies and just painting up and down in nice evenly strokes. So now I'm just going to dry brush the Necron with Roulon brass. So just a small amount of paint, no water with this and just wipe the excess off on a, a tissue because you don't want a lot of paint on the brush and just going to dry brush from top to bottom and this is just going to really buff it up and make it the metallic a lot more smoother. So here I'm just applying a coat of the Corex White. I gave this two coats on the gun, just in all the places where you're going to have the Tesseract Glow. So it's just going to be really bright when you apply it. So here I am just applying the Tesseract Glow. I'm just covering all the areas that I painted it Corex White, including the eyes. It's quite a thin paint so it won't need any water. Here I am just applying the Abaddon Black to the gun. I found the paint was a little bit thicker so I watered it down just as I did before. Four drops paint, two drops water and just applied this to the gun and all around the Tesseract Glow. As I'm going for a darker look, I'm going to give it an all over shade with Agrax Earth Shade. This paint is quite watery and thin, so it will start to run into all the recesses. If you see any kind of pooling, just um, grab the paintbrush and dry it on the tissue and just gradually take the excess off until you get it to a point where you're happy. So these next steps are optional, but I wanted to create some Necron crystals for my Necrons. So with the sprue, I just broke away some of the plastic using the clippers and shaped them into a shape of a Necron crystal. Then with the hot glue gun, I affixed these to the base. You can use any kind of strong, adhesive, strong adhesive glue to fix these. Once it's fully settled, I then gave it two coats of the Corex White. I didn't thin this down with any water, I just applied it straight to the uh, crystals. Once it's fully dried, I then gave it two coats of the Tesseract Glow. This paint takes a little bit longer to dry, so once it's fully dry, then give it a second coat. Um, don't do it when it's tacky at all. 
Once that was fully dried, I then applied the Astro Granite all around the base just using a coffee stirring stick. Just trying to not get it onto the crystals, but just moving the Astro Granite all around the base. So next I wanted to give the Necron some highlights. So using the Ring Feng Steel, I just did a dry brush on all the surfaces that were pointing up towards the sky. Just to finish off, anywhere where the crystals were coming out of the ground, I just a very, did a very light dry brush of the Tesseract Glow, just to show that kind of shine coming from these crystals on the surface of the terrain. I'm really pleased with how the Necrons turned out. I love the crystal look on it. I think it looks really cool. I have done another one, but I applied a tuft to it, just there. I hope you find this content useful. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.